Good morning, everybody. It is 1030 and we are on our day three of exercise and play with Spirit Fairer. We, I hope everybody's doing really well. Thank you for those that have seen my two other videos so far. Um, and we'll get right to it. Looks like we are at 2 hours and 16 minutes of gameplay. Um, as you can tell, I haven't really um, touched the game apart from me being on my bike. So you guys will be um, playing and exercising right along with me. So we are going to get started. Okay. Oh, right off the bat, we've got our food is done, but I think I want to get this glimmer thingy first. I don't know what it, what that is. Oh, there's two of them. I got a scallop as well. Oh, that's neat. Wait, I missed that one. Come on, hurry. I don't want my food to burn. I already forgot. Um, squares to interact. Uh, yesterday, uh, last night, I mean, I was playing a bunch of um, mm, moon scars. This Metroidvania Souls-like type game, and it's gonna it messes up it messes up with my muscle memory every time I gotta sw whenever I switch up games oh I don't actually need to water it because it's raining oh this one looks done coffee beans corn so far we're planting linen and corn so more coffee why not? Oh. Oh yeah, again, I don't need to water. I don't need to water. Um Okay, so if we look at our quests here, Albert still needs us to make our mailbox. So for us for this, we definitely need some um, planks and linen thread. And for that, we need to make our sawmill and sawmill and loom, I believe. We need materials. Let's go to where the game tells us to so we can progress a little bit. This one says new. So let's go to green. Green. Green Halton Bay. And we also made a new house for Miss Gwen here. And but we can just. She doesn't seem to be there. Oh, what does he want? He just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. It could be anything in there a tiny ship, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. How? Uh. Quick! Uh. A lightning storm! Don't be scared. Uh... No, I don't actually want to do lightning today. Alright, fine. Hit me, baby. One more time. <laughs> oh, come on. Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake and of menacing reefs and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. 
I think it's the air in this sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm not convinced my dreams have been visioned. Mm. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I've been looking at the map of your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit that point. No point in making it wait. Yeah. I love it! This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo in Waverly? Mm -hmm. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, Wolf Prime. You're welcome. Wait, why are you sad? I don't got anything to do. I've got a surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? you always been my favorite niece, you know that. I think I need a place to focus that energy. And a sawmill. Yeah. You're just missing some key components. Materials, which I'm sure you can find nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck. Right? Oh. Green Halton Bay discovered. Let me just get my food. I want to check out this point on the map first. Out of curiosity. Okay, there's Albert. Um, quartz dragon. Interesting. Is that what he's marked on the map? What's this? Cool. All right. Well, we're ch we'll check out Green Halton Bay first. We are good to go. Oh, who are you? Hey! I came here to cut down these trees, mm -hmm. but I forgot my axe. I'm not gonna start using somebody else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy, and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Oh, I'm pretty sure I found it, bud. <laughs> He's going crazy. He's going bananas for berries. I wonder if he will go berries for bananas. <gasps> Fudge, you're hungry. I'm so sorry. Uh, the service on the ship is incredible. Aww. She loves her uncle. <laughs> so cute. Oh, what? Valuable ring, eh? Is that all that's on this island? It's kind of shite. Yes, are these... Are none of these your axe, sir? Huh. <laughs> Did I walk by this thing? Okay, let's head back. I'm pretty sure I didn't see anything else. Yeah, okay. Weird. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, hey there. Oh. He's gonna tell me about errands. I've got those. You're welcome, and thank you. Valuable ring. Valuable necklace. And vibrant necklace. What have you got for me to buy, sir? Uh, oh, might as well buy your empty bottles. Wait, did I not plant anything here? No, I did. Okay, good. Well done! Cool, let's head to the next area. Oh, first, I wonder if I can see how everybody's doing at any given time. Because I want to know if uh, I've been thinking about father late recently when he left with Doug I, I didn't feel anything no mm -hmm. sorrow no hate no relief nothing mm -hmm. it didn't really matter to me but it mattered to you you spent three days crying in Ampetinius Petunia's room I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior mm -hmm. Mom was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad. And the best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead. Mm -hmm. Feeling things I couldn't feel myself. So nice. Um. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Thanks, I love it. You're much, most welcome. You're like in your home. I don't know if I've fed um the snake guy. I'm feeling quite hungry. <clears throat> oh, you're sweet. Not a fan of this weather. That's fair. All right, let's go to the next zone. Wait, is that ready? Hold on. I'm so indecisive. What else do I need to craft the looms and stuff? Sawmill and loom. I only got one quartz out of that? That's messed. Um, oh yeah. Oh, let's see if this was considered ready. Yep. <laughs> more carrots. More turnips. I don't got to water you. Oh. Already here. Got a surprise. What is it? Oh, thanks for the berries, Uncle. Hey, press the button. Why can't I press the button? Is it because it's not time? I keep forgetting. To go sleep, I gotta go in my cabin. <clears throat> oh, <gasps> fudge! I missed the glimmy thingy! Hmm. Say it fails. Okay, we're gonna go to that dragon. No. I forgot I can set different destinations now. Too bad it's not raining anymore. I don't get free watering done. Oh, we've got some completed stuff here.
Oh, now it starts raining. You're lucky there isn't any stamina in this game. This one will wait out because popcorn don't take long. Oh, it is legit a dragon. Awesome. Oh, this. I thought that it might be the dragon. I guess it's inevitable that it would be here. Following me. Always. Even in this world. Our destinies. Well, they're not in intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain. Doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Yes, sir. Oh. Double jump, holy crap. Here you go, buddy. I'm gonna help you out. I like this music. It's kind of a nice rhythm to my biking. doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Okay, so I got a quartz. Um, I think that's one of the requirements to build something, was it not? A loom. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it beside Stella's house, because I know she enjoys going into the loom and then I'll put and I'll put the sawmill beside the guest house for now mm -hmm. oh oh how freaking cute mm -hmm. this loom looks fantastic don't be scared it's in perfect working order 
let me show you how it works. You put the fiber inside, and then when you spin it, you just have to make sure you hit the target. Mm -hmm. A mini game. And you get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Mm, pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Oh, I've got tons of those, though. <clears throat> um... Let's try for 10. Let's try 5. What am I doing? not that hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. And that's what makes it so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go of myself when you don't need mm -hmm. it. But don't worry about the materials I'll manage. <sighs> what a cute girl. Alright, now well, should be enough for so Still uncorked. Oh, he's so cute. He's such a bored uncle. Oh, I need 20. Shiza. Don't worry, I'll make you more, sir. No, I want to use it though. How do I, uh. Hmm. Do you want me to stop weaving? Yes, please. Just a little bit. Oh, you're gonna need to get out of my way, sir. Dude. <laughs> Bro, get out. Well, this is hard mode. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Alright, I'm done, Stella. It's your turn. Ooh, looks like this is done as well. What? That's epic. I need to get more, uh... Odd seeds. That's neat. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Hold on. Gotta do this just right. I love this puzzle. There we go. That's so cool. And hella effing satisfying. Huh. Yeah, son! Wow! Whoa, our, our thing is getting so cool looking now. This looks amazing! Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big! What a beauty! There's just one problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. <laughs> you see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Uh, So, does it just do it automatically? Oh, cool. Oh, 
Oh. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice, and tw cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky on, our, on an arm, or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Ahem. <clears throat> That is so epic. Would you look at that? I love it. You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. And just remember to be careful with the sawmill. Don't go mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. <laughs> Nice. I love it. Oh god. Oh, is this perfect? Oh yeah. Chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, there's something fancy. It's just basic with a few hinges here and a few nails in there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Stella, I've got to tell you, there's something I've stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember my parents' manor at the lake? Well, as weird as it sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid mm -hmm. it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. Mm -hmm. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready when you are. Everyone wants a piece of me today. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just the fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for all really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser folks, Tommy. Don't get me wrong, I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shot when I'm craving. Hopefully, I won't ask for anything too extreme. You ever know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. I love being called Sprout. Hmm. I need some maple plank. I need six more planks. Mm. I had a brain fart on where I put my sawmill.
puzzling up. I've done fishing in a in a hot minute. Oh, wait! How do I open up those message in a bottles again? It's nearly morning. Raspberries are back. I don't really care about that. The maple logs are back. Let's go to here. Um. button <laughs> ah, stop it I don't want to water it's plenty watered already complicated this time around. Why are you so freaking high? How the heck am I supposed to reach that shit? What the hell?
All right. All right, by the way, I forgot. I haven't done any updates at all. So we'll do a quick update, shall we? Um, let me just do these linens real quick. Okay, so we are at 9.24 miles traveled. Uh, calories burned 223. Um, current time on the bike is 42 minutes and 26 seconds. Not bad at all. All right. I made your house, sir. I hope it's everything you hoped it would be. It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All the room for little, little one me. I can't wait to catch some shut eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. Hey, Stella. You know me. I could always go for a little snack. Something salty. Something buttery. Something with flavor. Oh, jeez. You know what used to be perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all of myself. Just go ahead and heat some up. I got you, bud. I got you. Mmm. I really... However... What? I used to make bags of popcorn movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm these little monsters down. Watching these terrible kids movies. I wish I was still there. To see them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. That's fine. Nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen. In my terrible apartment. I didn't know what was going on in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyways, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not spice work. You'll actually be able to work for it, but you'll actually need to work for it, but it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Oh, cool. I hope I have enough. I need 12 linen fabric. I got that. I got this. A word, please, Stella. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very tired recently. And I'm, I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful. But I think the guest house was as lovely as it is. Might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on boat? I think it would help me tremendously. And then we could continue our lessons, but nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had some natural stones. That would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella, deeply. Villa Maggiore discovered. Dang it. All right, here we are. It's curious, I'm both excited and anxious. I'm even starting to have second thoughts. As if, never mind. Let's go. Just do this up real quick. Sorry, lady.
Wow, what a beautiful place you've got here, Gwen. Oh, how long has it been since we've been here together, Stella? Seems Jerry has been taking good care of the premises. He's always been the best gardener we've ever had with mm -hmm. us. Mom has not been home much since father died. Shit, I'm much more emotional than I thought I could ever be. I love this house so much. As much as I hated it, probably. Look, I don't think I can go in there, even with you. It's just... No, I can't. Go on without me. I'll wait for you here. Here's the key. Oh, and Stella, if you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it back to me? Thanks a lot. Mm. Remember, this house has always been a real labyrinth. If you're lost, you have to follow the light. Good luck in there. Mm. I'll wait for you outside. Is this a dungeon? Is this a dungeon? What? 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 No way, Jose. Oh, cool. Let me just check the um the perimeters real quick. Before we start, I mean before we continue, let's do an update. Uh, so we are on the we've been on the bike for 15 minutes and 38 seconds. Um distance traveled. 11.09 miles calories lost is 268 okay doing pretty good I'm perspiring a lot today for some odd reason um, I was actually thinking of maybe cutting it shorter than normal only because my daughter is um, waking up from her nap so if you see me keep looking to my um, to my right. That's me trying to... Oh, what was that? That's me trying to... Um, see how she's doing. Jeez, this is interesting. I wonder why they decided to do it this way. box oh nice oh. welcome small traveler to my humble palace everything I own is of the finest quality everything is also bolted down so don't get any funny ideas I want to get that. wasn't so bad. There you go. Found the box? Could you give it to me? I'll take a cup of coffee anytime, any day. Oh, I'll give you a nice hug. Feel much better. Okay, I'm 
We've got anything else to do here? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, fudge. Ooh. I got me some old coin collection. Let's go back home. almost morning so I might spend time cooking some stuff up some vegetables oh this one's taking a long time What? Hey! Wow! I just figured out how to check my inventory by holding the triangle button. How? What the hell? Oh wow. Greetings from Furugawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest and the serenity of the magnificent rice fields available now in the Gurano fields. Cool. A lumberjack without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. <laughs> oh, to axe. Epic. Wow, how, how did I not know the triangle button is inventory? It's like I've never played a, an RPG in my life. What the hell? That is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Holy crap. Hmm. Well, let me just check out the loom real quick. What did I need to upgrade my chicken? Uh, kitchen? Uh, linen fabric. Oh. Wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. I need to think real quick here for a sec. I 
can't believe I didn't know how to open a bottle. That's so embarrassing, guys. Okay, we'll go out here. Oh, our food is done, so perfect. That works. Um, the heck, sawdust for? What's that do? Out of curiosity, I'm gonna cook a sawdust. Um, looks like my corn is done. Did not mean to water that, but you're welcome. Oh, what did I plant? Oh, good. That's what I meant to do. It's morning time. Is that that new place I opened up? Kalstein Mines. Okay. Goreno Fields. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I want to sell some stuff. Yeah, I could be doing something with my time while I'm waiting. Pulling these shenanigans out. But I could use to, um, which I'm gonna call it. I could use to buy more seeds. Got a task for me, sir. Ah, oh, fudge. What a great haul! There's plenty more to do if you ever feel like it. I'll always be around. I need soul. A sockeye salmon. Oh, I get two maple syrups out of it. Interesting. Okay. Whoa. I do want to buy more of that odd seed you got. Thanks, sir. Okay. Cool. I get coal from cooking sawdust. Nice. All right. So, um, final update because we're already past the um, one hour mark. Um, let's see. Oof. But, uh, we are at 63 minutes total. 63 minutes and 21 seconds on the bike. Um, distance traveled 13.80 miles. And total calories lost is 333. So, we're gonna make our way to. Um, Goreno Fields, which we found from that message in a bottle. And we're gonna head over to Calistine Mines in the next episode. Okay? Um, I hope you guys enjoy the fact that um, I showed myself on the bike a little. Hi! And um, 
like and subscribe and again i would really appreciate any feedback that you guys can give me i'm always looking to improve um yeah ciao see you guys next time